Good evening, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing up and joining us on this limited webinar, talking and discussing about the 21 Day Body Transformation Challenge. I am really, really excited to be here tonight, and I appreciate you guys showing up. This is going to be a fantastic night. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to answer a lot of questions, and uh, you guys are going to get a lot of great information. So I've got a promise to you. I've got a promise, a big promise. I always start off all of my, my, my speeches, all my seminars, my workshops with a big promise. And my promise tonight to you, you are going to be able to take back from this webinar, you are going to be able to take back everything that you need. You're gonna figure out every reason why you failed in the past, why, why you may be failing to see results that you're getting now, and how you will never, ever, ever fail again. That is a pretty big promise, but I definitely am going to live up to it. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and um, I am going to deliver the goods for you guys tonight. Now, I also have a special gift for you guys. If you show up, now this seminar uh, webinar is going to be about 45 minutes, an hour, give or take a little bit, depending on how fast and excited I start talking. Um, but if you guys stay till the end of the night, you stay till the end, I have a special gift that uh, I've got for you guys. <clears throat> so make sure that you stay till the end. And one last thing before we get started, I need your help. Now, I am going to talk really, really fast and I'm going to deliver as much information as I possibly can without spending all night with you guys. So grab a piece of paper, grab a notebook, grab your journal, grab a pen or pencil or whatever you write with. Make sure that you get off Facebook, turn the TV off and focus on what we're about to discuss for the next 60 minutes because I guarantee you that this is going to change your life. Now, who am I? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nathan Nowak. I am a fitness professional. I've been a fitness professional since 1997. I've been a professional athlete all of my life. I started training in martial arts at the age of nine years old. I've had over 22 years of experience in the fitness and nutrition industry. And my focus, my, my primary focus, especially with my gym, Trinity Fitness, is I focus on women's fitness, nutrition, and empowerment. All of those programs are designed with women in mind. In 2000, uh, 2001, way back in the day when I was coaching women, um, and we had a good Taekwondo team, uh, our team was Team of the Year in Atlanta Sports and Fitness Magazine. Um, I was also uh, voted Coach of the Year. In 2011, uh, Best Self Magazine ranked me as one of the top 10 personal trainers in Atlanta, which we thought was a pretty, it was a pretty big deal. It was a pretty awesome thing. And um, in 2000, or, yeah, 2012, one of my clients had such a huge transformation that she got um, a, a spot in Best Self Magazine as one of the inspiring stories of change because it was such a significant uh, weight loss and dramatic change for her life. I'm also nationally known as fitness professional speaker, author, and professional athlete. And what I've been able to do is take all of the, the knowledge and all of the experience I've had from being a professional athlete, from being a coach, and from being a trainer, and I've been able to apply that to all of our training programs at Trinity Fitness, which was once a brick and mortar gym, and now is all online and done by um, uh, seminars so that we can meet the demands for people all over the world. Now, I wanna stop and go back a little bit. I wanna slow down just a little bit. This is probably the slowest you're gonna hear me talk tonight. And I want you to close your eyes. Now, I can see that you're not closing your eyes. I really can't see you. I can't see that you're not closing your eyes. But uh, play along with me for a moment. And I want you to close your eyes. I want you to think about what your life would be like. Okay, we're going to take a step into the future. I want you to focus on what your life would be like. And why did you show up tonight? What are you looking for? It's different for everybody. And there's a lot of different people on here with a lot of different issues that they want results from, they want to drop. You know, it could be chronic illness. You may be wanting to try to reverse your thyroid uh, problem. You may want to try to reverse uh, diabetes. You may have arthritis. You may be looking for weight loss. All this time before you haven't been able to, to, to uh, accomplish your weight loss goals. You, you want to run a marathon. Maybe you're brand new, you're just getting started, and you have no idea. This might be the first place that you've looked for a fitness and nutrition program. So now I want you to take what you have. Take that, that reason, that significant reason why you're here tonight, and I want you to project yourself into the future. I want you to project yourself a year from now and what it would be like. What would it feel like 
to have accomplished that goal that you were just talking about, to reverse diabetes, to, to have no more chronic illness, to have energy, to be able to sleep through the night, to be more productive, to be happy, to have a healthier, happy, more productive and energetic life. What does that look like for you? And I want you to hold on to that. Now I understand not everybody can picture that because we, we've had so many problems for so long that you may not be able to picture what that feels like, but just in your mind, if you had an idea of what that would be like, I want you to try to hold on to that now for the rest of the time that we're talking, because that is going to play a big significant role into what we're going to discuss tonight. Now, we are here to discuss how to quickly and easily lose 10 to 12 pounds in the next 21 days without starving yourself to death. Now, over the last six months, it's been a little bit longer than that, but definitely in the last six months, I have heard a lot of people talk about intermittent fasting. Now, a lot of videos I've put out on my YouTube channel, my podcast, on my Facebook lives, I've been talking about intermittent fasting. I've been talking about people really believe that the only way to get results, the only way to lose weight, the only way to get where they want to go is to do intermittent fasting and starve themselves. And all I see is a lot of people doing it wrong. And I see a lot of people that are, are frustrated, a lot of people that are hangry, and a lot of people that are just are, are fed up and they, it's not working for them. So we're going to go through three secrets tonight. We're going to go through three secrets that I have used from before I even became a fitness professional. But I, as I had my gym and as I trained more and more clients, I started seeing the same issues coming up time and time and time again. And once we figured out how to get these secrets in place for every single client, this is the key. I am pulling back the curtain and I'm exposing you to the three things, the three major things that me and I taught my trainers how to do with every single one of our clients and how they get results every single time. And that is why since 1999, I've been able to guarantee my personal training programs to every single client because this works all the time. So the first secret that we're going to talk about, secret number one is an ineffective approach or a flawed technology. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, here you go. There are so many gizmos and gadgets out there claiming to help you lose weight, claiming to help you get the body you want, claiming to get the body of those models that are actually putting the product on. And it's just, it's not going to happen. And when you look for a flawed technology, for instance, let's look at the guy in the middle, okay? Rather than eating right, right, and doing nutrition and working out, to get a six pack, what are you going to do? You're going to take this plastic thing. It's kind of like a girdle, right? And you're going to put it on, you take it off and it makes an imprint of six pack abs. And it's funny. It's hilarious. I mean, this thing is really out there. It's unbelievable. Some of the stuff over on the left, you've got the sweet sweat. First of all, I, I've never known anybody to sweat sweet. Um, but I can guarantee you that that model right there did not put that belt on and get the abs that she has. So if you're trying to, you know, put these belts on and trying to lose weight and trying to tone your stomach, all you're doing by putting that on is you're, you're, in, you're, 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 you're heating up your digestive system. It's basically like you're cooking a potato inside a microwave and it's not good for your digestive system. So not only does it not work, it doesn't give you the results you want, but it also has reverse, it has very significant effects on your digestive tract later on in life, it's not a great way to lose weight, feel great and have more energy. And then we have the shake weight on the other side. You're going to just shake this weight a whole bunch of times and you're just going to feel this burn in your forearms and you're going to feel this burn in your biceps and you're going to look like this, uh, this model here. And that is just not right. There are so many myths in the fitness industry that it just, it blows my mind there. You know, if you go into, um, go into borders, which we don't have anymore, you go into Barnes and Noble, or if you look on Amazon on all the weight loss products and the fitness products and all the gurus out there that claim to have the, the secret to weight loss and all of that stuff, you know, as many solutions as there are out there, we should be the healthiest nation in the world. And we just keep getting fatter and fatter and fatter. So there's, there's a disconnect between reality and what really, really works and what people perceive to work. And, and that is where we're getting a lot of problems. So here's another, this could be, uh, this could be an, an ineffective approach and definitely a flawed technology. Now, if you're looking at the same screen I am, 
you're looking at a purple balloon, right? Now, what exactly is this? Well, this balloon, there's a pill that you take. And now this is supposed to be doctor prescribed, but you take this pill, it has a balloon in it, and then the doctor blows up the balloon to give you the sense of fullness so that you don't eat. I mean, I can't make this stuff up, people. This stuff is ridiculous. It's out there. And what's, what's really sad is that people are so desperate for weight loss. They're so desperate for a cure. They're so desperate to, uh, to, to get this result that they will push logic and realistic expectation aside and go after quite, uh, just go after emotion. So of course, this is not going to work, right? Plus you have stuff in your stomach that should never have been in, introduced to your digestive tract. So there's definitely going to be an ineffective approach to this. And there's going to be significant effects that uh, reverse um, side effects that are going to be bad for you later on in life. So rather than looking for a quick fix, rather than looking for something right now, we want to look for something that's long-term, that's sustainable, that we can have for the rest of our lives. I can go on from here, eat less to weigh less. Um, you know, don't, if you're a woman, you don't want to lift weights because you're going to get super huge like the Hulk. Um, you know, sodium-free, fat-free, sugar-free actually means that there's nothing in it. Doesn't, does, it doesn't mean, mean that. For instance, uh, the sodium, fat, and uh, sugar-free. If you look at anything that says sugar-free, for instance, uh, let's say cookies, right? Because everybody eats cookies. So if you look at this box of cookies, it says sugar-free on the front. You turn around to the back and it says zero grams of sugar. But if you go and look at the ingredients, in the ingredients, it's got 10 or 15 different sugar substitutes. Because if you've made food or if you've made any kind of um, or baked anything in the, in the kitchen with your grandmother or your mother, you know that you have to put sugar in, in, in something in order to keep it solid. Otherwise, it would turn to mush. Sodium and fat-free. The FDA has a little thing where it says if there's less than five milligrams of sodium or five milligrams of fat in a product, you can label it fat-free. So all of that fancy talk on the front is going to get you in trouble if you don't take a look at the back. So you really need to pay attention and start looking at that stuff. So those are, that's, a, that's another myth. We also have uh, uh, um, myths around food, myths around nutrition. Okay. You know, no carb diet. Okay. Now I, we've got the, we've got the, the, the bread over here and not all carbs are created equal, right? So we've got simple carbohydrates and we've got complex carbohydrates and we have all, all, all of that going on, right? Some things are better for you than others, but what, you know, going carbohydrate deficient is, is going to be an ineffective approach because your body needs glycogen glycogen comes from carbohydrates. So over time, if you don't get enough carbohydrates and then you decide that you're going to have a, a, a biscuit or if you decide you're going to have some cookies or you're going to decide you're going to have some cake, then all of a sudden your body's going to be like, woohoo, I got some sugar, I got some carbohydrates, and I'm going to hold on to that for a really long time. And all of a sudden you're going to realize that you gained some weight, you got a little, little, little chub going around the, 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 your waistline, and you can't get rid of it again. Because your body has been depleted of carbs for so long, it has no idea when you're going to give carbs to it again. Never, it doesn't know when it's going to get glycogen again. So it's going to hold on to those carbohydrates in the hopes that, you know, if you decide to go and do a low carb or no carb diet again, that it's going to hold on to some carbs so that it has something to spare. Now on the other side, calorie deprivation diets. So this takes us into the weight loss centers and in the weight loss center, this, let me give you a, give, kind of give you an example if you've ever, if you've never been there before. So you decide, you see an infomercial, and you decide, hey, I'm going to go down to the, uh, the corner store down here, and I'm going to go to the quick weight loss center. So I go down to the, the, the weight loss center, and you're meted by a coach. And he says, hey, come on in. Come into my office. He asks you some questions. He writes down some stuff, some answers, and some stuff on a piece of paper. He starts typing in on a, on a calculator some numbers. And then all of a sudden, he says, okay, Sally. Sally, it looks like you're doing about, you're, you're taking in about 3,200 calories a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop you down to 1,800 calories a day. We're going to give you these nice nutritious shakes and these nice nutritious meals, and we're going to send you on your way. You're going to come back in a week. Now, Sally is pretty excited, right? Because she has a plan. She has a coach. She's got some shakes and she's got some meals. And she's fired up. She's like, I'm going to do this this time. This is going to work for me. So she goes the whole week. She comes back a week later. And guess what the first thing the, the weight loss coach does? He throws Sally on the scale. Now, 
Sally looks down in between her feet and she's lost seven pounds. Woohoo, man, Sally's lost seven pounds in a week. That's a pound a day. Sally is doing great. Sally's fired up. Her enthusiasm is high. She's excited and she goes off for week number two. She comes back in a week and once again, what do they do? They put her back on the scale and now Sally's lost five pounds. So she's lost a total of 12 pounds in, in two weeks. That's pretty fantastic. But she's starting to notice that her energy level is not exactly where it was before. But she's like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to push through. I'm going to keep going. I lost 12 pounds in two weeks. It's the most weight I've ever lost. So let's keep going. So she comes back for week three and she's only lost three pounds. Uh-oh. So what's going on? Now we're 15 pounds. But the coach is there. The coach is there. He's seen this before. And he said, hey, you know what, Sally? Don't worry about it. You've lost 15 pounds in three weeks. This is fantastic. You've lost 15 pounds in less than a month. Just keep going. You're doing great, girl. Just keep going. So she's a little discouraged, but she has a little bit of enthusiasm and a little bit of motivation because the coach is, he's done this before. He must know what he's doing. And after the fourth week, she comes back and she hasn't lost any weight. And now guess what he says? Don't worry, Sally. I've seen this before. You have reached. Yep, exactly. You guys said it before I did. You reached the plateau. This proverbial plateau that the weight loss centers throw at you. So this is what we're going to do, Sally, because we've seen this before. We're going to take you from 1,800 calories and we're going to knock you down to 1,200 calories. We're going to give you half the size of the nutritious shakes and half the size of the nutritious meals. And we're going to send you on your way. Now, Sally's a little discouraged because she's already hungry. She's got a little bit of a headache. Her energy's not where it was. But she's like, you know, I've been doing so good. I got 15 pounds under me. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep going. So the next week, she goes through the week. She comes back to the diet center. She loses two more pounds. And then she, she starts to feel, okay, well, I don't know. I'm starting to get tired. And I've, I've lost a lot of weight in the last month, month and a half. So maybe I should reward myself, reward my efforts. So she decides to go to the grocery store. She's a little ravenous. And she's not thinking broccoli. She's not thinking carrots. She's thinking, you know what? I'm going to reward myself with some cookies. So what she does, she gets home and she has this moment. I don't know if you guys have experienced this moment, but some of my clients have. So she gets home with that box of cookies. She places the box of cookies on the counter. The lights all of a sudden dim, candles pop up, and Barry White is singing in the background. And now Sally is alone with her cookie. And she's looking at this cookie and she's thinking, man, this is going to be so awesome. I've lost this weight. I'm so excited. And guess what happens? Now, Sally not only eats the cookie, she eats the entire box of cookies. And then when she's got the box of cookies finished, she calls and she orders a couple pizzas and she eats the pizza. And what happens? She completely binges. And now she doesn't show up for her way in the next week. She's completely disgusted and ashamed with herself. The, the, the diet coach doesn't even call to find out where Sally's at. And guess who Sally blames for this, this despair? Sally blames herself. Now, isn't that strange? I'm in the only industry in the world where if you, as a client, you personally, do not get the result that you want, you blame yourself. I mean, let's think about it for a minute. If you go to a doctor and the doctor operates on the wrong leg, he's going to have malpractice. He's going to be sued. Going to have to pay insurance because he didn't do what you asked him to do. If you go to get your car serviced and the mechanic or the dealership messes up your engine, they have to replace your car. They have to replace your engine that you didn't get the product or service that you had asked for, that you expected. But in the fitness industry, if you go in asking to lose 25 pounds and you don't get that result, all you get is heartache, pain, and suffering, and low self-esteem because you blame yourself because you didn't do the program. You didn't do it long enough. But that's not true. You used, or Sally used in this case, an ineffective approach or a flawed technology that was doomed for failure. Now, there's another ineffective approach. And in 2007, 2008, I spoke all over the country on this one. I was on a podcast with somebody. I don't think we had podcasts back in 2007. I think we were on a, just a teleseminar. But we were on a call, and I was talking. I was helping this guy promote his, uh, his, um, his workshop that he was doing. And I, you know, I was coming. I speak on fitness and nutrition. 
And he said, I said, did you know that cardiovascular exercise can make you fatter? And I just sat there for a minute. And people are like, well, wait a, what? wait a minute, what? Cardiovascular exercise can make you fatter? Yes, yes it can. And that packed out his seminar and people flew all over the country down to Albuquerque. That's where, that's where it started. And I started talking about how cardiovascular exercise can make you fat. So this is what happens. Like, let's, take, um, let's take a little trip now, right? It's September. We got about three and a half months or three months left till the New Year's resolution people start kicking in. So in the, in the big box gyms in January, February, March, where is the one place or the two places that you really can't go because they're so crowded in the gym? You can't get to the cardio machines and you can't get to the aerobics classes. Now, every year, folks pile into the, into the gyms hoping to lose weight and get that bikini body that's been avoiding them now for the last 10 or 15 years. Every three, January, February, March, the first quarter of the year, they come in, they do excessive amounts of cardio and they don't get the result they want. You know, Jill will come in first thing in the morning. She does an hour of cardio. She goes to work. She comes back. She does uh, Jean's uh, aerobics class, and then she follows up with 30 minutes on the rower. So she's doing an excessive amount of cardiovascular exercise and wonders why she's not getting the results that she wants. And what happens is, do they lose weight? Absolutely, they lose weight. But what I call them is skinny fat people. And I think you might know who I'm talking about because they're people that – Will, will look great in clothes, but they would never be caught dead at the, at the beach. And I don't know about you, but I mean, the, the, they, the whole point is to get into that swimsuit. The whole point is to be healthy and to get the look that you want. So this is what happens. Why does cardiovascular exercise make you fatter? We have something called a resting metabolic rate. The resting metabolic rate is the amount of calories your body needs to just lay in bed all day and function through the systems. And we're talking about the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, brain function, everything that your body needs is within this resting metabolic rate calorie number. And everybody's different, okay? Most people, when they start to get into weight loss mode and they try, they're try, they gonna start losing excessive amounts of weight or they've got two weeks until their, you know, their, their high school reunion and they're gonna just drop 50 pounds, they're not even taking in enough calories to hold on to that resting metabolic rate. On top of that, they start doing excessive amounts of cardio. And what does cardio do? Cardio burns what? Calories. So you, don't, you already start off under your resting metabolic rate. You're doing excessive amounts of calorie burn with, with um, uh, cardio. So what happens is your body can burn a lot of different things, but I'm going to keep it really, really simple. Your body can burn fat and it can burn muscle. Now, if your body is not getting enough nutrients and it's not getting enough of the good stuff, your body is going to hold on to fat because it can survive off fat the longest and it's going to start breaking down muscle tissue. It breaks down branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, and it starts using those as fuel and it starts taking what's left over and storing it as fat. So your body becomes a fat storage machine rather than a fat burning machine. Not only that, when you start to deplete the body of muscle and you start to strip away muscle, you start to lower your metabolism. You start to slower, slow down the metabolism, and then you have the metabolism of a turtle. Okay. So what we want to do and what I want to do is teach you an effective approach, an effective approach on how to burn fat and become a fat burning machine versus a fat storage machine. You guys with me? Put a heart and a like, a happy face. Say, heck yeah, I'm with you. Let's do this. So we're going to move on to secret number two. Why you've tried and failed in the past. Now, this doesn't have to do with all of the flawed approaches, the ineffective approaches, the flawed technologies, right? We understand that those parts of that piece, that secret, those ineffective approaches, the flawed technologies are going to make, are, are going to create failure for us. But there's another reason why we fail. Now, here's a picture of David and Goliath. And when we start off on a goal and we start off on a journey, sometimes we feel like we're battling Goliath. When we have a weight loss goal or we have a chronic illness that we're trying to reverse, we feel like we have to fight Goliath and we feel like David. 
Okay. But we all know what the, how the story ends with David and Goliath, right? So I'm going to show you how you can be David and you can defeat Goliath. But right now, it's, it, you think to yourself, man, that Goliath, he's so big. How is David actually going to defeat him? So we have these two things. We have this thing called a feedback loop. And you can either have a positive feedback loop or you can have a negative feedback loop. Everybody has these. Now, in, in terms of the um, photo on the, on the screen, we're talking about music. If you like music, you get motivated to play more music. You get better at playing music. You get satisfaction out of hearing yourself play. And then you enjoy it and you play some more. And I'll give you a, a prime example. I just got a ukulele. I practice my ukulele every day. I'm getting better. So what do I do? I want to play more because I want to get better and I want to get better and I want to get better. So that's a positive feedback loop. Now, when it comes to fitness and nutrition and weight loss and weight loss goals, a lot of us are stuck in negative feedback loops. We try uh, the, the, the tummy tucker toner. It doesn't really work. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. So we get very little, little results. We get very little improvement. We get frustrated and then we quit. And you constantly get into that negative feedback loop. So what we have to do is break that loop. Now on the screen, you've got EEM, PFC, and RAS, and these stand for parts of the brain that we're gonna talk about and teach you how to be your David and defeat your Goliath. Now, the first one is the emotional experiential memory. Now, emotional experiential memory is there to protect you, okay? If you were a kid, and I'm sure everybody was a kid, but if and when you were a kid, if you put your hand on a hot stove, what happened? You remember that experience. There was a time maybe when you tried to grab a snake and the snake bit you. You remember that emotion. You remember that experience. And in that memory, your brain says, mm, we shouldn't do that again. But the EEM goes awry sometimes and gives us false memories, false emotions, and false experiences or kind of warps the experience so that we get a negative feedback loop versus a positive one. The second one is the prefrontal cortex. And the prefrontal cortex is your imagination. It's where all your dreams and your goals are. You get excited. You're like, hey, you know what? I see this half marathon coming up. I'm going to train for that. I want to do that. And that's where, that's where all the, the possibility of life happens. Okay. And then on the last one is your reticular activating system. And in your reticular activating system or your RAS, that is your, that's your either your, your positive feedback loop or your negative feedback loop. It's like a it's like an old 70s or 80s sitcom rerun that just keeps playing over and over and over and over again, unless you do something to fix it. Now, it might be a really great sitcom rerun, or it might be one of those ones where you're like, yeah, you don't see that one anymore on TV. It's only in my head. So two of these guys play very well together, and one of them does not play well, or actually they just push the other person off to the side. It's kind of like being the person picked last for kickball. So the EEM and the RAS, they like to talk to each other. So the RAS has this feedback loop, whether it's positive or negative. It talks to the EEM and it gives these, it gives these thumbs up, the emotional experiential memories keep popping up and it continues to get that gratification, gets that acceptance and the RAS replays the, 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 the roles again. Now the PFC, says, hey, you know what? Let's try something new. So it tries to talk to the EEM and say, hey, I know that we've experienced this before, but I wanna try something new. But the EEM is so strong, maybe with some negativity, has this great rerun plan, and the EEM and the RAS say, nah, we're not gonna do that. So then this is what you get in your brain, where you wanna go and what you wanna do versus what actually happens to you. So we have to create that pattern. We have to break that pattern, figure out what that pattern is, break it and create something new. And what happens is on the outside, somebody will tell you, a coach will say, well, you lack commitment or you lack follow through. Is it true? Absolutely, it's true. But it may not be all of your fault because a lot of its pre-programming that's been going on for a long time, what we need to do is get in there and break that. 
So what we do is rather than the PSC talking to the emotional um, experiential memory, we're going to go into the RAS. And instead of still watching the same channel, what we're going to do is we're going to change the channel. We're going to figure out something different to watch that's going to be more in our best interest. We're going to start with those EEMs and we're going to change the emotions. We're going to change the experiences. We're going to change the memories. And then ultimately what's going to happen, you're going to get that cup down there. Yep, that's a gold medal. That's a first place winner's cup. So secret number three. Now you, you've, in secret number one, we talked about the ineffective approaches, the flawed technologies, right? The, the things that are out there that the, the shiny objects that make us think that we're going to be able to get something really, really quick and we don't. And then number two is kind of an internal thing where we start to think of our brain and all the stuff that's the past wiring and we start to fix that. So now we've got a new channel. We've got a new memory. We've got new things going on. We're excited. And now we're doing everything that our trainer said for us to do. We're eating right. We're exercising. We're getting enough rest and recovery. We're doing everything that we think is possible. And yet we still aren't getting results. And I, I'm, maybe you've said this before, I'm doing everything you told me to do. And this is almost a, a person of despair. I, it, you just, you don't know what else, excuse me, you don't know what else to do. Over the last 20 years, lots of, has, has changed and it's even gone a little bit further than that. But in the last 20 years, I've started to notice a bigger difference in, in clients that are coming to me and people that are losing weight. In the late 90s, I started talking about something called food allergies and food sensitivities. And that's where people are starting to, uh, foods that were once healthy for us are now starting to become toxic and poisonous to us. For instance, now we have a lot of genetically modified food and genetically modified food to the body is a toxin. So we start getting those toxins in from our food. We get toxins in from our environments. We're getting other toxins from our body. We're in a fight or flight mode all the time because of stress. And we have this thing now called weight loss resistance. So if you're not buying into the gizmos and the gadgets and all the flawed uh, technologies and ineffective approaches, and you're on track with your goal, you love your goal, you're passionate about your goal, you get up early, you stay up late, you're just driven by your goal, and you're still not getting the result that you want, it's possible that you are battling with something called weight loss resistance. And the one thing that weight loss resistance is, it's created by inflammation. Inflammation in the body. Inflammation is the root cause of all disease in the body. And if we can eliminate inflammation and get it down to a very low level, not only can you get healthy, you can get happy, you can decrease brain fog, you can reverse chronic illness, you can get all of everything that you want physically you can have. And most people don't know how to do that. Now, there are six stressors that we don't talk about. You know, everybody's got stress, but people say, oh, you know, you must be under a lot of stress. Oh, no, it's just normal. But normal stress doesn't mean that it's good stress. We've started to learn how to adapt to stress, but our bodies are the ones that are taking the abuse. So there's six stressors that we have that we deal with on a regular daily basis. Emotional stress. So this emotional stress could be with your kids, could be with your spouse, could be with work. I mean, it could be dealing with uh, past trauma. It could be any of those things that are mentally taxing on you, that you're weighing on you. Another thing could be mental. Mental and emotional can kind of go uh, hand in hand together. Mental stress could be deadlines at work. You're not, you're, you don't feel fulfilled. Um, there's lots of different ways that uh, mental stress can attack you. Another thing is social stress. Social, social stress, especially for people that are introverts, you know, maybe you're nervous in social situations. And now that we're in a pandemic, you know, there's a lot of social stress going on because every time we go out, are you going to get COVID or you're not going to get COVID? Do you have to wear your mask? Do you not have to? Wear, did I wash my hands? Did I not wash my hands? That's a lot of stress that's going on. And then we've got a toxic environment and toxic environment can be broken down into many different things. Now, toxic environment could be uh, your home. It could mean uh, mold. You know, it could be different things that are growing in your house. It could be that kind of toxicity in the environment that is causing an inflam uh, inflammatory, inflammatory response in the body. It could be a toxic environment where maybe you're not getting support at home. Or maybe if you're at work and it's a toxic environment there, or it's a hostile environment there and you're under stress every time you go to work. 
So those are different types of stress for the environment. Next one is physical stress. Now I remember growing up and becoming, being a young personal trainer, we talked about different types of stress and everybody said, well, you know, in order to de-stress, you know, you physical stress, working out can help you, you know, uh, with your stress levels. Under normal circumstances, absolutely, yes. You can definitely uh, lower your stress levels by doing physical activity. But if your body's already dealing with emotional stress, mental stress, social stress, toxic um, environment stress, and now you're adding physical stress in the form of working out, you're not benefiting from that. Your body is now increasing inflammation in the inflammatory response. So working out could possibly be doing the reverse effect to you and not getting you the results you want, not getting you stronger could actually be making you weaker. Okay. And then the, the last one, systemic stress in uh, terms of inflammation in the body is when an entire uh, organ system breaks down, for instance, like the digestive system or a neurological system, cardiovascular system, the respiratory system. It's when something stress has happened for such a long period of time that is not just one part, but the entire system is starting to break down. So let me ask you a question. This stuff is pretty cool, right? Now, I know you're thinking, hmm, there were secrets that he was going to share me, but I had no idea what these secrets were going to be. I did not know that this is what the secrets were that he was telling me. I thought it was going to be some kind of, you know, magic, I don't know, wand. He was going to wave over my head or something. So now I want you to, I want you to go back. I want you to go back. Remember when I told you to, to stop and think about what your life would be like? I want you to stop and think about what your life would be like. Now, close your eyes again. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever you came into this webinar at and doing, if you continue to keep doing what you're doing, are you going to get the results that you want? Are you, I mean, how long have you been doing it? You know, three months, three, uh, three weeks, six months, a year, continuously doing the same thing, hoping that you're going to get a different result and it's not happening, right? Now I want you to project yourself with how you feel right now, six months into the future, doing the same thing that you're doing today, doing the same thing that you were doing yesterday, doing the same thing that you were doing three months ago. Has anything changed? How do you feel? Probably not, not very good. So I want you to come back to right now. I want you to come back right now to this night. Come back and I want you to think, if you started to apply sound information, right amount of rest and recovery, moderate aerobic exercise, supportive nutrition, rest and recovery, and a balanced program, what would that look like in a week? What would that look like in a month? How do you think you would feel in the next six months or the next year? Have more energy, be able to sleep better, lose weight, be at your ideal body weight, feel great, maybe run a half marathon or, or a marathon or do a triathlon or do a Spartan race if that's what you want to do. Think of all the possibilities that you could have. So those are the opportunities. Those are the things that are, 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 are available to you when you buy in to the secrets, when you learn the secrets and you apply the secrets in every part of your fitness journey. And the cool thing about it is number two and number three, they really go hand in hand with everything you do in life, especially number two. If you can goal set in fitness and achieve your goals, you can goal set in anything and become anything that you want to do in life. So that's an extra bonus. Now I want to introduce you to Robin. Robin came to me. She came into the gym. She was referred by another client. She said, hey, I've only got a limited time with you. I need results quick. I'm here in Atlanta for a little bit and I'm going out to California. I'm gonna go out to be out there. And someone told me that you could get me into shape so that I could be out there and do what I need to do. And I said, absolutely. So if you read what she said, you know, she got exactly what she wanted. She needed results fast, fast and that's exactly what she got. She started noticing big changes in the first two weeks. If you look at the side um, on the left side, you can see she had a little bit of a bloated belly. That's gone. You can see that uh, you know, her legs are firmed up, her arms are firmed up. 
she lost 6% body fat in two dress sizes. And, you know, at the bottom, is, she kind of gives me a little bump and she says, Nathan was there with me at every step. I never doubted he was working as hard as I was, always had, and he always had my goals in mind. And that's true, except for the part that she says that I worked as hard as she did. I, I think she was the one who had to do this, the, 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 the hard work, the effort. I was just there to guide her along the way to make sure that, uh, you know, she got the results that she wanted. So that's pretty, pretty amazing that we were able to do that in such a short period of time. So tonight I wanna to introduce you to the 21 day body transformation challenge. And as you can see at the bottom, it's not just a challenge, it's a masterclass. This thing is going to be something that is really, really special for you guys that are here tonight. Hang on just a second, guys. My screen froze. All right, so what we've got is the 21 Day Body Transformation Challenge Masterclass. Now, what is the difference between just the regular transformation challenge and the masterclass? Well, the 21 Day uh, Masterclass is going to have the, work, the workouts and the nutrition program. It's gonna have the three weekly uh, group Zoom meetings and the three weekly group Zoom meetings are going to break down every single week for the 21 days. So we're gonna start next week and we're going to go over the first week of the program. Then we'll meet again and we're gonna go over the week of the second week of the program. We're gonna talk about the differences in the nutrition, the differences in the workouts for the week. We're gonna go through everything that you need to do, the mindset training that you're gonna to need to have. We're gonna do all of that and lay it all out and then you're gonna implement it throughout the week. I'm gonna give you fitness, nutrition and goal tracking worksheets so that you can see in real time what your workouts are, what your nutrition looks like and the results that you're getting over the 21 days. You're gonna get daily check-ins. We're gonna do that during, doing, um, uh, via Voxer. So you'll be able to Vox me at any time uh, and, and ask questions and get daily check-ins on what you're doing and motivation and accountability tips. We're also gonna offer you guys up a private Facebook group so that you guys can get in there and talk amongst yourselves see what's working, see what's not, maybe help somebody else. Hey, you know what? This wasn't working for me. I tried this instead. Maybe working out in the morning wasn't great for me. I tried working out at night. Oh yeah, let's do that. Or maybe work out together if you guys live close. Now this program is going to be $297 because you're going to have basically unlimited access to me. So I'm giving you all of this information and everything that you need to be successful and lose 10 to 12 pounds, if not more in the next 21 days for $297. So let me ask you, if I could give you that, if I could change your mindset, if I could give you energy throughout the day, if I could give you great sleep and be more productive, would it be worth $297? I think so. So I want you to meet Becca. Becca Sherrill was in our, in our 21 day program. And this is when we had the program in person and everybody would meet at the gym. So rather than doing the Zooms, right? We had everybody at the gym. And Becca was in there. We had 15 ladies in the class. And Becca was in there with about four or five girls. Now, Becca was about 65 at the time. And she was in there with four or five girls that were in, uh, under 25. They were there for, to drop off their freshman 20. And when she walked in, she was very, very skeptical. And she told me, she pulled me off to the side and she goes, Nathan, I don't think this is for me. She goes, I'm the oldest one here, which wasn't true. There was another lady there who was about her age. She goes, I'm the oldest one here. I just don't feel comfortable. And I said, Becca, just do me a favor right? We're going to talk for about an hour, an hour and a half. Just since you're already here, just sit with me. Let's talk. If at the end of this hour, hour and a half segment, if this isn't for you, if you really don't want to be here, I will give you your money back. And she said, deal. So we shook hands. We didn't spit in our palms, but we shook hands. And she went through that hour and a half. And she said, Nathan, I can do this. I believe I can do this. During her initial assessment, she couldn't even do perform a squat. Her knees were so bad. And that was one of the things that she was really, really nervous about is that she couldn't do a squat. Her knees hurt. After the 21 days, she had lost 10 pounds. She lost inches in her hips and her thighs. And she was ecstatic. She felt great. She went on to become one of my personal training clients for over three years. She ended up running a 10K. She ran a 5K first. Then she ran a 10K. Then she ran a half marathon. I mean, she got, she was doing things that she believed that she, there were, that she was unable to do anymore because of her, her knees hurting so bad. So we were able to take her and transform her 
from just a woman who wanted to lose a little bit of weight, wanted to get some more energy because she sat at a desk all day to somebody that went and ran a half marathon. And that's pretty exciting. So what I want to do is in addition to the complete master class that we're going to go through together, I want to give you guys my supermarket tour. My supermarket tour was something that we offered at the gym in small groups. We would take people through the supermarket. We would teach them the pitfalls. It was kind of like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. And we would teach them where the pitfalls were, which bridges were stable and which ones you should probably not step on. And we would go through the, the supermarket and teach them everything that they needed to know to make correct food choices every single time. And that's really, really empowering because I can give you stuff all the day long, but when you're off by yourself, you need to be able to do that by yourself. And it's empowering to know that you can make those right food choices understand what food labels mean, understand all the gimmicks on the fronts of the boxes and, and go all through that. So I'm going to give you guys that in addition to everything else that's included in the body transformation challenge. So we've got the 21 day workouts and nutrition program. We're going to do three weekly zooms together where you guys can ask questions. We're going to go through each part of the workbook together. I'm going to give you the goal tracking worksheets to get you started, fitness and nutrition tracking worksheets, daily check-ins and accountability plus the private uh, Facebook group and the supermarket tours. It comes out to about $394. I also want to give you guys, because I know we talked about secret number three. Secret number three is weight loss resistance. And that is different for a lot of people. You can't just cookie cut nutrition for people. You have to give people certain things because something that's healthy for me may not be healthy for you. Okay. So what I want to do is in this master class, I want to give you guys meal plan templates in a grocery shopping list that you will be able to take that's customized to you. And you will be able to take that with you to the grocery store. The meal plans will be designed specifically with the nutrition in mind. If you have weight loss resistance, if you need that extra bump to help you get there, to help you eliminate the stressful foods, the foods that are causing inflammation in the body. And we're gonna go through that with the meal plan template. So I wanna throw that in there with you because I believe that we can show you significant results and faster results if we have those. So I'm throwing that, that bonus in, that's bonus number two, the 21 day workouts in the nutrition, weekly group Zooms, goal tracking, fitness tracking, nutrition tracking workouts, daily check-in and accountabilities, private Facebook group, supermarket tour, the meal plan templates and the grocery shopping list, all for $591. Now, I also want to throw in something else. Now, because this is a master class, this is not just a basic program. I want to give you guys a lot of access to me. So what I want to do is we're going to start the, the class next week on a Monday. On Friday, Friday I want to give you guys a private one-on-one -on -one weekly coaching call with me. So after the first week, we're going to get on a Zoom together. We're going to discuss the goods, the bads, the uglies, and, the, and get the improvements down. Same thing on week two, same thing on week three, because I really believe that I, I want to give you guys all of the fuel, all the tools, everything that you need to be successful. Because I believe that a lot of people have tried so many things and they failed and they don't have a lot of confidence. They don't believe in themselves. And I believe that if I give you all of this information, give you all of the clarity, give you everything that guides you through to the very end, I know that you're going to build your confidence. I know you're going to see significant changes. I know you're going to be happy with those results. So I want to give you, because this is a special thing, this is a masterclass, I'm going to give you that bonus uh, number three, where you're going to get one-on-one -on -one calls with me. And normally I charge $397 for three one-on-one -on -one calls. So now we've got the 21 day program, three weekly Zooms, goal tracking, fitness tracking, nutrition tracking, daily check-ins, accountability in the private Facebook group, and the bonuses, the supermarket tour, meal plan templates in the grocery list, and the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, all for $988. Now I wanna show you Nicole. Now Nicole is a professional model. And when I met her, she looked like she was in pretty good shape. Uh, she wasn't happy with where she was, but I thought, well, she, she's in pretty good shape. You know, you don't have to lose 30 or 40 pounds. So what exactly, why are you here? Well, the reason why Nicole came to me was because Nicole liked to binge and purge. She was a professional model and she would do what it takes, right? She would do the, 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 the dirty to get down to the weight that she needed to, to get into the modeling shoots 
But then after she was done, she would just let herself go. So it was basically a negative feedback cycle, a negative feedback loop. And she would constantly just keep doing that same thing over and over and over again. She started noticing as she got older that it was getting harder and harder to do that. So she said, you know, I don't like working out. I don't like eating healthy. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. And I said, all right, well, let's just do the 21 day program. Seven, it's, you know, it's, it's broken up into seven day increments. And let's see if we can, just give me 21 days and we'll see what we can do. So her initial goal was to tone up and shape up for a beach um, vacation that she had coming up. And in the 21 day program, she learned extremely useful diet information that she wasn't using before. She didn't realize that she could use to get to the weights that she wanted to. She uses that all the time now. And the exercises have now become a part of her daily program. So she went from not wanting to eat right and not wanting to exercise to exercising daily and eating correctly you know, more times than not. And she was eager to see uh, you know, what else she wanted to accomplish with her new eating habits, her workout regimen, and the new outlook she had on fitness. Now, that last part is really, really important, and people look, overlook that all the time, the new outlook on fitness as a whole. So not only she wasn't looking at it as a battle. She wasn't looking at it like, oh my gosh, I got to go do this. She was looking at it as this is part of my life and I really, really enjoy where I'm going right now. And that's a significant thing. That's big. So what we've got to wrap it up, we've got 21 day workout and nutrition program, three weekly Zooms, goal tracking, fitness tracking, nutrition tracking, daily check-ins on Voxer, motivation and accountability, private Facebook group. You get the supermarket tour, the meal plan templates, the grocery shopping list, and private coaching calls for me. And we talked about that being almost close to a thousand bucks tonight and tonight only. I'm going to give that to you guys for $47. So you guys are going to get everything that I said. Now I want to make this very, very clear because that tonight only really is tonight only. Now I have the 21 day body transformation challenge program. This is going to be a master class. This is going to be something that's above and beyond what that challenge is, okay? What that program is and what it's going to entail. You guys are going to get more stuff than when I actually launch the basic program. So not only are you getting it for $47, that master class, when we do it again, it's going to be $297. So it's going to be, it's going to be full price, probably not going to get the bonuses. Okay. So let me ask you a question. If all you got over the next 21 days was increased motivation, higher self-esteem, the ability to realize that I can and will accomplish my goals, would it be worth it? And I'm going to say yes, because it doesn't even take me 21 days to do that with somebody. So if you came into this thinking, oh, I don't know if this is for me. If you came into this thinking, I've done things like this before, and I don't know if this is going to work. If you came into this and you're like, I've never done anything before. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do the master class for 21 days. You're going to pay $47. If at the end of 21 days, you are not completely satisfied, I will give you your money back. I've given a money back guarantee on all of my programs since I started in 1999. And I do it now because I don't believe, just like I said in the beginning, I don't believe that if I could not deliver the goods for you, you should have to pay. It should be my fault and not yours. Okay. So here's the thing. You need to go over to 21 day body transfer transformationchallenge.com. Okay. Throw that in the URL, 21 day body transformation challenge.com. An order form is going to pop up, fill out your information, put in your credit card information. It's going to be 47 bucks. And then once you're paid, you are going to be sent to the member area. The member area is going to be blank right now. Because as we go through this master class together, I will give you the information as we're going through it. I don't want to throw it all in there and you get completely overwhelmed because it is a lot of stuff. So we are going to go through it and I'm going to show you everything that you need in the step-by-step -step form that you need it so that you get the best results that you want. So just to go over everything one more time, 
21 day workouts, 21 day nutrition program. You're gonna get three weekly Zoom meetings as a group so that we can discuss the program together. Before you start the program, we're gonna have a goal tracking worksheet to help you figure out exactly what you specifically wanna get out of this program for the next 21 days. Then you're gonna get fitness and nutrition tracking worksheets. You're gonna get daily check-ins on Voxer if you need them. I'm gonna give you motivation and accountability. And we're also gonna give a private Facebook group access. You're gonna get supermarket tour, the meal plan templates and the grocery shopping list, and three one-on-one -on -one weekly private coaching calls with me, all included for $47, but you gotta do it tonight. Now, friends don't let friends work out alone. So here is another offer I've got for you, and it's not on here. If you can find two friends by Friday or Saturday, if you can find two friends that want to do this with you and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to try this. I want you to try this with me. If they pay the 47 bucks, you can give them the URL. I'll leave it up until Saturday morning. If they pay, you get two friends. You tell me who you referred. I will give you your program for free. So you refer two people and your, your program is free. So you're not even paying 297, you're not paying 988, you're paying not even the 47, you're getting it for free, okay? So if you help somebody and you share and you pass it along, you pay it forward, then I will pay it forward and I will help you out, okay? So go over to 21daybodytransformationchallenge.com. Order form is gonna pop up. Put in your information, put in your credit card, hit send instant access. You're going to set up your member area. It is going to be blank. And I will put all of the information in starting this weekend to get you guys started on Monday for your 21 day body transformation challenge. All right. So if you guys have any questions, I will hang out just for a few minutes to see what we've got. If not, then I am going to send you guys on your way, head over to 21 day body transformation challenge.com, put in your information, put in your details and Let's get started and let's do this and let's have a transformation worth talking about 21 days from now. All right, you guys have a great night and I will talk to you guys soon. Until next time, start strong, finish stronger.